I shared a post on Facebook uh, yesterday. Maybe it was today. It's 3.30 in the morning right now, so let me give a... Let me state that. And I just got back from a gig. So anyways, so technically yesterday I shared a post about the number system. And somebody asked me about it, so I want to explain a little bit further and see if this helps. First thing you need to do is you need to learn your major scale. Uh, I like to do it like this. So I'm starting on A. And I'm going A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, back to A. Another way to think of that is by numbering them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the major scale is commonly, you, you can, you've probably heard it before, is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. So number those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, back to 1. Or technically 8. Uh, for each of those scale degrees, for each of those notes, there's a chord associated with it. Quickly, just to get or show you how I got those chords, if you take that scale and you use every other other note in the scale degree, so if you use the one, the three, and the five, you're going to get the uh, A chord. So you have an A, a C sharp, and an E. So when I play this this version of A, really any version of A, but just this bar chord version, you have an A, E, A, C sharp, E, A. So my one, here's my ones, here's my fives, and there's only one C sharp, so there's only one three. I know that sounds kind of confusing, but there's only one C sharp note, so my, my three, there's, it only occurs once in this chord. And just so you know later on, if you flat the three, you get minor. Three is very important for major minor. Anyways, uh, if you continue that train of five, skipping every other note. So if you start on the one, you're gonna go one, three, five. If I go to the two, I'm gonna go two, four, six. I'm gonna get a B minor chord. If I go three, five, seven, I'm gonna get a C sharp minor chord. If I go four, six, one, because if you, you know, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is really my one again. So four, six, one, I get a D major. So if you kind of get the idea, it's just one, three, five, two, four, six, three, five, seven, four, six, one, five, seven, two, six, one, three, seven, two, four. Is it? And then we get off the chord. So, because each note in the scale has a chord associated with it, and they're coming from that scale, you're only playing the notes in right now the A major scale. It's called diatonic. And lo and behold, because they're all made from the same thing, they sound good together in any order you play them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Or I can go. And very common chord progressions are like your one, five, six, four. So uh, this is just a small town girl. Instead of thinking of it as an A to an E to an F sharp minor to a D, I think of it as my one chord, my five chord, my six chord, and my four chord. And then there's other kind of cool chord progressions you can learn. Blues is your one, four, five, so my one chord. And I go up to my four, one, two, three, four, which would be a D, and my five is an E. Uh, you ain't nothing but one chord. So with that thinking, let's say, you know, I can sing that good in the key of A, but let's say we have a girl that's going to sing. She can sing it better in the key of C. Well, instead of being like, all right, what are those chords and having to manipulate whatever, I just think of, really to me, two things. One, the pattern it looks like, but also, here's my one chord, here's my four chord, here's my five chord. If I wanted to do it here, 
in this C. I also know that if I go one, two, three, four, this is the lower octave of that four, so it's still the four chord. And that's the lower octave of five. So really I'm playing a C, an F, and a G. So you ain't nothing but a hand So yeah, there's tons and tons of more cool progressions, and, I, and actually after a while, once you kind of do, uh, you start learning the number system and you learn these different progressions, it's kind of lame in the sense that, oh, there's all these progressions already mapped out for you, but then you kind of start recognizing them and you can manipulate them the way you want, and you can add substitutions, do like, instead of doing a major chord where it should be major, do a minor, see what that feels like, or get your seventh chords in there. So for example, I'm going to go back to uh, 1 being my A. In jazz, they do a 2-5-1 a is a very, very common progression. So you go to your 2 chord, which is a B minor, your 5 chord, which is a E major, and your 1 chord, which is an A major. So I could play it just like that, just, you know, minor, major, nothing fancy. So... make it sound a little different, I could do like a, a minor 7 chord on my 2, and even take away one of the notes and make it more. And then on my 5 chord, instead of doing just a major chord, I can do a 9 chord. And if you notice, I know it might be hard to see in the video, but this minor 7 chord and this five or uh, 9 chord on the 5 share these notes. And actually, even that note, if I were to do it the super jazzy way. So I'm sharing these notes. So really what I'm doing is I'm going from here, and then I'm switching this bass note to this string, but I'm still sharing these notes, which sounds really cool, because you're sharing these. And then I'm resolving to the one, and I'm gonna do a major seven right there. So I went like this the first time, just minor or major. substituting a little bit that minor 7, that 9 chord, to the major 7 for my 1. So let me do that again. So my 2 chord is a minor 7, my 5 chord is a 9, I know that sounds funny, and then my 1 chord is a major 7. And then you can kind of move around the bass note, so... And if I wanted to do something minor, like uh, I cover Say My Name by Destiny's Child, and I do uh, A minor to F to D minor to F to uh, E7. So even though I would solo, this, I would say this song is in the key of uh, A minor, really when you learn your number system, you keep everything major. And so this song would really be in the key of C major, and the A minor is the sixth degree of C, so C, D, E, F, G, A, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the six is minor. So really what I'm doing is I'm doing my six chord to my four chord to my two chord back to four, and then a substitution of three, which should be E minor, and I'm going to do E7. So... Say my name, say my name, no one is around you, say baby I love you, you ain't running games. But let's say I wanted to transpose that to a different key for a different singer. Let's say I want to do D minor. So now I think of, alright, if I'm in the key of D minor, which is really F major, I have my 6 as my D, I have my 4, which is uh, B flat or A sharp. Actually, there's, there's a right answer to that. They're the same thing, but I'm going to say A sharp for now. And then uh, a G minor, which is my two, back to A sharp. And then, actually, yeah, and then uh, an A7 for my three chord, which should really be A minor, but it's, 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 it's that substitution. So I have, say my name, say my name, no one is around you, say baby I love you. that explains a little bit of what's going on and uh, there's tons of videos on YouTube 
uh, look them up, get really comfortable with your major scale because I, I think it really helps knowing why the chords sound the way they do, where they came from, and if you know why those sound good and why these chords sound good together, then you can understand how you can manipulate them and do crazy stuff. Uh, good luck. I guess send me some Facebook messages or comments if you have questions. Or... I think it was a cool video. I think it was a cool video. Good luck.